Stage 2. Awareness of Self. Day 5. On the theme. My money, supporting growth. Response. The aim is, to realize that often our responses to money, and prosperity subscribe to the wisdom of the world. The first scripture reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Friend, who set me to be a judge or arbitrator over you? And he said to them, Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Then he told them a parable. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. And he thought to himself, What should I do, for I have no place to store my crops? Then he said, I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool! This very night your life is being demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves but are not rich toward God. The second reading is taken from the love of eternal wisdom. Number 80. Earthly wisdom is love for the things of this world. Worldly men and women secretly subscribe to this wisdom when they set their hearts on worldly possessions and strive to become rich. They institute court proceedings and engage in needless disputes to acquire wealth or hold on to it. Most of the time they are thinking, speaking, acting with the sole aim of acquiring, or keeping some temporal possession. They pay little or no attention to their eternal salvation, or to the means of saving their souls, such as confession, holy communion, prayer, etc. Except in an offhand way out of routine, once in a while, and for the sake of appearances. If you are doing this preparation session alone, I invite you to focus on the phrase or word from the scripture just read, that has or have struck you, and spend a few moments reflecting on this word or phrase. On the other hand, if you are doing this in a group, I invite you now to echo or read aloud the phrase or word from the scripture that has or have struck you. All participants are given ample time to echo the word or phrase that touched them. Commentary The parable narrated by Jesus refers to a man without a name. It's quite typical of Luke to speak of rich people without giving them a name. The message is clear. Many people think that riches or power makes them feel, someone important. You can dress a doll as much as you want, but you will never make it a woman. If one evolves only outside, he or she cannot evolve inside. In truth such a person is a nobody. Jesus says it clearly. What's the use to earn the entire world if you lose your soul, your identity, your psyche, your inner freedom, your family, your friends, the meaning of your life? The problem is not with money, Montfort would say, but with our heart, when it subscribes to the wisdom of the world, and brings a person to become rich only for selfish purposes. One day a young man asked his master, Rabbi, what do you think of money? Look out the window, the master said. What do you see? I see a woman with a child, a coach pulled by two horses, and a farmer going to the market very well. Now look at the mirror. 
What do you see? Well, I see myself, of course. Now, think. Both the window and the mirror are made of glass. It's enough to have a very thin layer of silver on the glass, and you can see only yourself. That's what money can do to us. Just little of it can blind us from real life. Guide questions for personal reflection and sharing. What is my unhealthy way to respond to the energy of money and possessions? What is it I'm losing most when I worry too much about money?